I'm here in front of St. James Church in, in Medjugorje and I just had this beautiful um, experience from a guy from Scotland and um, he talked about, you know, you said cheese, when you have cheeses you're not alone, you said? Yeah, yeah, well, my, all my family have all died and I suffer from intense loneliness and it was through watching your videos it made me feel homesick uh -huh. and the and the Medjugorje is like a home from home it's a place where your mother is Mother Mary and she is bringing us to Jesus and my theory is you can never be lonely if you've got Jesus and Mary in your life because they they, they are they are basically your parents they're the, they're the ones who are watching over you, looking after you, um, and it's such an exhilarating experience to feel that way, do you know? Uh -huh. No matter how difficult your life is, if you've got Jesus in your life, you can conquer everything, absolutely everything. All your difficulties are insignificant. Um, so it's basically, it's just, you need to come to Medjugorje to feel the love and the peace and the tranquility and the serenity of the place. Mm -hmm. It's 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 ineffable. You can't really it's inexplicable. You can't really put it in any words. How uh, you've got to come out to experience it yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's the best thing I've ever done, you know. And I've just recently lost my twin mm -hmm. and I felt seriously, seriously depressed, almost suicidal. And, and it's through watching Tom's videos that it's gave me this um, nostalgia, just urge, just to come out to Medjugorje to experience the peace and the healing that you can receive from Medjugorje. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to take Prozac or fluoroxetine or any other antidepressants. Just come to Medjugorje. That's the best form of medication you can receive in prayer. And it. <clears throat> And this is what I, I cannot emphasise enough. The rosary overcomes everything. It overcomes wars, all your problems. It's it's that's the magic weapon to use. Um, it was funny because when I was in Medjugorje once before, I was when I was going back home to the airport, the two policemen because I was staying overnight at the airport, <laughs> and they were asking me. Um, uh, do you have any weapons on you? You know, it's a security procedure they go through. And I says, yes, I do. So I pulled out my rosary beads. <laughs> <laughs> and they just laughed, you know. Uh -huh. And then uh, says, and they were going to ask me questions and they, ne they never asked me any other question. They just went on their merry way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the power of the rosary. Yeah. It's the power. You just have to show it, you know. Uh -huh. and, and the effect it had on, the, on those two placement, mm -hmm. you know. So... I think that's about it. <laughs> and um, how often have you been in Medjugorje? Well, I've been coming to Medjugorje for since 2010. And uh, at first I was skeptical, uh -huh. like everyone else, you know. Um, but I started getting signs and wonders, <laughs> you know. And, for example? Uh, well, what things would come out of my camera. Uh -huh. You get signs from the Virgin Mary. Uh -huh. and. The last draw came when my face appeared in a cloud in the sky. Wow. And I've got it in video. Uh -huh. And I was, I'm a smoker, right? Uh -huh. I'm on a vapour now, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, exact time the Virgin Mary appears in Medjugorje, mm -hmm. um, the bell started ringing for the daily apparition. Everybody kneels, but me being a Down Thomas mm -hmm. and being very believing in logic and uh, science and Mm -hmm. um, logic yeah. and science. Rationality. Uh, yeah. Rationality. I want because some people said that the sun sometimes moves at that time, so I had my camera out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the bells were ringing at the time, so and then a cloud moves. It doesn't cover the sun, but it moves. Yeah. All the other clouds are all still, but this one cloud in front of the sun moves in a three dimensional face mm -hmm. nose, eyes, mm -hmm. and mouth. Mm -hmm. And it's got a cigarette in its mouth. Oh. And I, I'm the one that smokes. Mm -hmm. So that was Mary telling me, don't be smoking. Because your body's a temple, right? Yeah. You wouldn't want to blow smoke into the tabernacle of Jesus, would you? So why smoke? Mm -hmm. So I've been making a concerted effort to try and stop. Mm -hmm. And try to make a. Um, because I keep playing the video, trying to convince myself it's not a clout, but mm -hmm. honestly, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a face, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, but 
even I've showed it to Priest and he said, Paul, that, that's, that's, that's unbelievable, that's a face, I know. <laughs> and he says, well, how do you know it's your face? Well, it's quite logical. Mm -hmm. It's a hell of a handsome looking cloud. Of course it's my face. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you've heard of uh, eye cloud, well, that's my cloud. <laughs> so, um, I so that, that that was the the turning point. Uh -huh. um, I had other few weird things coming out of my camera, mm -hmm. but um, well, quite quite really quite um, tangible things, you know. Mm -hmm. So she's given me enough signs for me to make that transition, to make a concerted effort to try and change my life. Mm -hmm. And now I know that magical it is the truth, and more importantly, that God is the truth. Mm -hmm. God is the truth. There is a God, mm -hmm. and He is a just God. And if I don't basically change my my ways, do you know, I'm in for the big smoke. <laughs> yeah. So I've got to change. I'm, it really is a fear of God, right, and lo a love of God. Mm -hmm. um, God loves us. He wants us all to get to to get to gain salvation. Mm -hmm. So, but we've got to do it on our own merits. We've got to, we've got to merit that reward. You mm -hmm. know. So, um, and, and that, we're all sinners, right? It's those that are comfortable with their sins that have got to, um, should be afraid. But not so much the ones that are trying. I mean, I think Mother Teresa says, you've got to at least try, at least try. Mm -hmm. But it's the ones that are quite comfortable with their sins and they don't care. Um, but. But if it wasn't for Medjugorje, I don't think I would ever even get to know Jesus, to be mm -hmm. honest. Mm -hmm. and, and I love the homilies here as well mm -hmm. in Medjugorje because they're straight to the point. Mm -hmm. There's no political correctness in their homilies. Mm -hmm. They go, it's like hardcore uh, um, homilies and it's and it's straight to the point. Mm -hmm. And it's everything, is, is it, it resonates with me, mm -hmm. do you know? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's so powerful. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I recommend that people to tune in to uh, Mary Stevie mm -hmm. or um, Medjugorje HR mm -hmm. um, and listen to the, the international uh, mass homilies and exactly. it's so, so powerful and it will change your life. And you gave the answer for the Protestants because you met Mary and came to Jesus. They yeah. think, what is Mary about? I know. You explained it in, in through your yeah, way. Basically, I mean, I, I've got a lot of Protestant friends and all yeah. that. They, they, they think you, you, you're... It's idolatry to worship Mary and all that, but they don't realise the importance of Mary, how she, she brings you to Jesus. Everything is centred on Jesus in Medjugorje. It's, even the Virgin Mary has said it's not all about her, it's all about Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Catholics don't worship Mary, they honour her and respect her. And there is no son without the mother. If it wasn't for Mary's consent, there would be no Jesus. And I'll tell you another thing to my Protestant friends is, I wish I could love Mary as much as Jesus loved her. You know? Oh, man. Beautiful. Because Jesus really loved his mother. Uh -huh. yeah. And she suffered as much as Jesus, on that she had to watch him being brutalized on that cross. Totally brutalized. He was brutalized. And we can say that it's biblical because yeah. Simeon the prophet said, you are going to be pierced, yeah. your heart is going yeah. to be pierced. And right? the rosary, the prophet say that it's not, where's that in the Bible, the rosary? Well, all the mysteries is all relevant to the Bible. Yeah. The soul, every aspect is related to the Bible. Oh, man. It's all about the Bible. And it's all about, very few is about Mary, but it's all about Jesus' life. Beautiful. Paul, I mean, I'm inspired and uh, you touched me also that you said my videos because I'm doing them out of joy and I don't, didn't know that this no, have an you, effect you, on people, they, you know? They, they will have an effect on people. Uh -huh. See, the important thing is with your videos, you're planting a seed uh -huh. and people are going to see those videos uh -huh. and they're going to want to find out more and hopefully that seed will come into fruition uh -huh. and, and blossom into a beautiful flower. Uh -huh. So keep up the good work. Thank you, you so know? much, Paul. Yeah? Thanks.